Hello everyone, I'm gonna tell you why I like the Hyper Chiller so much. So here's what the Hyper Chiller looks like. We've gotta fill it up with water and then we gotta put it in our freezer. So after we've had it in the freezer, you're gonna pour your coffee, your hot coffee in this area here. It's gonna get chilled. Then you're gonna pour it out this area here. So let's disassemble it and see where we gotta fill it up with water. You've got two chambers. So first we're gonna fill this one goes right here and these are nice threaded. We're gonna screw that on there. We're gonna fill that up with water. Okay, so let's fill this one up first. There's a line right there. It's a little hard to see, but you're gonna fill it up to that line right there because the water expands when it freezes. So fill it up to that line. Then you're gonna screw it into the bottom right in the middle of this. Okay. Now we're gonna use this one just for a measuring cup. There's another one of these lines. See, it's, it's on the outside, but you can see it on the inside. Fill this one up to the line, but it's just for measuring purposes. We're gonna dump it into that other container. Okay, so I've got it filled up to that line. Now you're gonna use that to dump into here. And again, if you don't have a measuring cup, there's how much. Now you've gotta screw this. This is gonna be empty now. You're gonna screw it in to the lid, okay? Make sure it's nice and tight, not super tight, but tight. Now with the water there, you're gonna, this is gonna to try to float on you, but just kind of push it down and then screw this in. Now you've got the proper amount of water. We're gonna put this in the freezer. You gotta let it in the freezer for a day and that water will freeze and expand. And then I'm gonna show you how it cools coffee. Okay, so I've had the hyper chiller filled with water in the freezer for 24 hours. Now you can pour the beverage right in this big opening and then you're gonna pour it out. It's gonna come out this little opening. So you can either, if you've got hot coffee in a coffee maker, you can pour it right in there or you can brew, or you can brew the coffee right into it from a Keurig machine. Okay, so I'm gonna brew the coffee right into it. And it's, it's 170, 175 going into it. I'm brewing eight ounces into the hyper chiller. Okay, so I've got the coffee in the hyper chiller. You can touch the outside. Now you're supposed to kind of swish it around a little bit and you gotta let it sit. It's not an immediate brew the coffee in there and then pour it out and it's gonna be at uh, cold temperature. You do have to let it sit in the hyper chiller for about five to six minutes. So I just wanna show you, so if you pour some out right away, so I've only let it sit for about 30 seconds, that coffee is still pretty hot, still at 87 degrees. Okay, so I've let it sit in the hyper chiller for about seven minutes. Now let's pour it out. It pours really good out this area where it's supposed to come out. And now let's check a temperature. 39 degrees. So yeah, that's a very cold, that's a nice cold coffee now. And now to reuse it, you're just gonna rinse out the inside. Just run some water in there. And now you can put it back in the freezer um, for the next time you wanna use it.